guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, a very, very warm welcome. My name is Anna Elaine and it's very nice to meet you and have you here on my channel. It's quite funny, but actually today's video um, was suggested by my husband. I was sitting there trying to think of like video ideas and he said like, have you ever done a like pale skin starter kit? And I was like, how would he even know what that kind of video is? It was just amazing. Like I was just like, that's actually an amazing video, but also like so proud that he suggested it. So even though a lot of the products I'm going to talk about today are probably ones that um, you've heard me talk about before, if you've been following my pale skin, you know, series over the last few years, like a lot of these aren't really new. So, I mean, you don't have to watch it, but I kind of thought I would create this for people that um, were just searching like good pale skin makeup and like this might be a really easy go to video that just has a bunch of my like favorite products, but not, not so much only favorite products, but ones that I would confidently 100% recommend to anyone who's just like really pale. I have like a primary list which I use to create this face today because there's going to be like little overlays of the products being applied. As a bonus in the video as well, I did try and include a cruelty free option if some of the things that I did pick weren't cruelty free. I know for some of you that's a really important issue and I wanted to address that in this video and make sure that I was suggesting something that was cruelty free as well. Now I think if you're brand new to makeup and you're very very pale like me and you are starting out a little kit, something I that could not recommend enough is getting some shade adjusting drops. These ones are by Australis. Australis is an Australian brand and it is cruelty free. I'd highly recommend getting some white drops to add to any foundation or even concealer that is just a little bit too dark for you. And you may also want to use up products you already own that you know are a bit dark um, and a little bottle of drops can be really, really useful for that. So definitely in a pale skin makeup kit, I would recommend having some shade adjusting drops. Now for foundation, I have a bunch of foundations that I love for pale skin. The one though, if like someone can't tell me what their undertone is and they don't really know what their skin type is and they're just a wee bit like, I don't know, I'm just generally pale. The one I normally recommend people try out is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y205. The reason I selected this and it is what I'm wearing on my face today is it's neutral undertone. Uh, so therefore it doesn't matter really what undertone you have generally unless you're very much like super warm or super cool This will match you because it is neutral. It's also a medium to buildable coverage So it's like kind of a standard sort of in the middle coverage It's not super heavy not super light But you can share it out and you can build it up in my experience It also works on quite a range of skin types like I have a sort of normal oily Combo-y kind of skin like I don't get super dry skin But I can tell that this doesn't cling to dryness and it also holds up well on any oily areas of my skin so for me I feel like this is a pretty safe product to recommend for a lot of skin types a lot of undertones um, and a good sort of average coverage level so that's why I recommended that one however I could not find online if Makeup Forever was cruelty free and I don't think it is so if you are wanting something cruelty free one of my other favorite products to suggest is Illamasqua skin base foundation the reason this wouldn't be my first first pick is that the shade SBO2, while it is very pale, it's quite pink, so it, did, it wasn't as sort of flexible um, in undertone as the Makeup Forever, that's why this one wasn't my initial first pick. Also, I do want to note, in terms of cruelty free, I'm not including any brands that are cruelty free but are owned by a parent company that isn't. That means all the products that I am suggesting that are cruelty free, at least at this stage, are not owned by a parent company that is not cruelty free. So. The next product I'm suggesting is NARS. NARS itself is a cruelty free brand, but it's not owned by a cruelty free parent company. So that's why I'm not including it as a cruelty free option. It's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly. And I used to love the Radiant Creamy Concealer. It was my absolute holy grail for so, so long. And then they brought out this version and I actually now like it better, which is crazy because I never thought I would really like a product better than my NARS Radiant Creamy. For starters, it's a very, very pale concealer. It is long, slightly on the warmer side, but I have a neutral cool undertone and this looks fine on me. So I feel like, again, it's sort of more neutral and it can kind of go either way. It is matte, so it's not going to emphasize any breakouts that you put it on, but it also doesn't look dry under the eye. As long as you set it with a bit of a powder, then it works beautifully under the eyes. So this is my sort of safe bet um, option for suggesting a concealer. I thought I would also mention the 
Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer Cream in the shade L1 Neutral. If you want an extremely pale under eye, or maybe you are just extremely, extremely fair, like much fairer than me, then you would love this concealer. This is the lightest concealer I have in my collection and the lightest one I've ever found. Now for powder, I did manage to find one that, well, I love and is also perfect for pale skin and it's cruelty free. It's by Models Prefer and it's their mineral powder in the like finishing veil sort of colour, I guess. It's not 100% transparent, but it's also not really that coloured. It's more of a sort of satin finish powder, so it doesn't make you look matte or cakey or heavy, but it doesn't really add too much coverage, and it is really, like, illuminating on the skin. So it's perfect for pale skin. I think very fair skin looks beautiful with kind of a pearlescent glow to it, which is why I love this powder. I can use it to set my under eye and any, like, concealer work on my face. I can use it with a big fluffy brush all over my face as well. Now, for contouring, I actually have two. <laughs> I cheated here. Um, although I only demonstrated with one of them today. The first is the Makeup Geek Contour Powder in Breakup, and this is more of a cool-toned contour, which is what I've used today. Um, it's very affordable, and it is cruelty-free, as I said. And it just the tone of this is so so perfect for like neutral to cool undertones. It lasts so long, like a little bit goes such a long way that this will like you buy it, use it every day, and I guarantee it would last you well over a year. So it's a very 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 good investment for pale skin. And the other one, which is also cruelty free, which is a bit more of a luxury product. So if you do prefer investing in luxury brands, um, this one is by Kevin Aquan. And this is the Sculpting Powder in Light. They're very similar, but the Makeup Geek one is just a touch cooler, whereas I think the Sculpting Powder is just a touch warmer. But it's still very much a cooler toned contouring powder. Now for bronzer, this one was a little bit more hard again. I feel like there's two different types of bronzer. People either like a more sort of glowy bronzer or a matte bronzer, so I picked two. I've got the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze fair to light bronzer which is what I've used today and this is the most beautiful kind of glowy satin finished bronzer it will give you a lovely glow whilst also warming up your complexion it's very very fair it doesn't have any chunky glitter or anything it's just a lovely sort of pearlescence and the matte bronzer I wanted to mention was the Benefit Hula Light bronzer I think this is a fantastic product I've just done a review on it recently as well this is 100% matte so if you prefer a more matte bronzer and maybe something that's a little bit more of a warmer undertone then this one is a really good pick. Benefit and Bare Minerals are not 100% cruelty free so if you are after a cruelty free option um, I would suggest the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer which is quite similar to Hula Light it's just a little bit more on the warm side um, so this one's quite warm, but it is very fair. It's mostly matte. It's kind of like a satiny matte finish. In terms of a blush though, I would recommend someone with pale skin if they were like just starting out. Uh, I would 100% recommend the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. A lot of you guys recommended this for me when I did my best blushes for pale skin video. And I was so pleased I invested in it because it is just the best color for pale skin it's super natural looking but it's not like a tan like it's very much a sort of soft dusky rosy color but it looks very natural on the skin however again not cruelty free that one so another blush that i would recommend that is cruelty free or any of the ones in the line really but the hourglass ambient lighting blushes i think these are fantastic but particularly this middle color which is incandescent electra it's like got a lot of sort of peachiness to it but it's also got a beautiful kind of um, glowy marble through it. I don't really know of a cruelty free blush that looks identical to Exposed. If you do know, leave a comment below because that was sort of something like, I have a lot of nice cruelty free blushes but nothing that is like this one. For highlighter, again, I do have my Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Powder which is the more sort of subtle highlight that I like using on an everyday basis. This one looks so stunning on pale skin because it's got that beautiful kind of soft pinky glow to it. Um, so highly, highly, highly recommend that one for pale skin for an everyday highlight. Um, although a nice cruelty free option and something that I think is a bit more suitable for like going out, not so much day to day. It's the Makeup Geek Highlighter and Glitz. It's a very soft pink sort of highlighter. It's very, very, very foiled though. So this one is quite intense and I would only recommend it mainly for like evening or like going out. Um, it doesn't look as good for me for day to day. It's just a bit too much. But um, if you love a strong highlight, uh, I would highly recommend this one. And again, that one's a cruelty-free option. Another product that I would absolutely try your best to get your hands on is another Australian brand, which sometimes can be hard to get hold of, but it's the Chi Chi Eye Brightener Duo. And the matte in a rim side is so perfect on pale skin. It's like the nicest kind of inner rim 
eye pencil that I've ever found that isn't too peachy, it's not too dark, it's very it's very near white, so it's sort of like an off-white when it's on the eye, so it doesn't look as striking and as harsh as white, but it's, it's definitely light enough to brighten your under eye. So I'd highly recommend trying to get your hands on this. Um, Chi Chi are also cruelty free, so that's a really good option for you guys out there. Obviously for lips, I think it's quite an individual thing whether you like nudes, reds, pinks, like whatever sort of shade. I do have a full video on like best lipsticks for pale skin, so check that out if neither of these three options I want to show you like tickle your fancy. But my favourite lip colour for pale skin for a nude is MAC Blankety. Um, my one's like really run out. I've got a back, I've got a full size in my bag as well. This is the only lipstick I have like multiples of around my house. But this colour is just like the perfect nude for me. But again, MAC, not cruelty free because they sell in China. So if you are after a similar sort of colour, the Hourglass Lip Girl Lip Stylo in Influencer is quite similar. It's maybe a touch deeper than Blankety, but it's still in the same kind of vein. And the product, the actual formula of these lipsticks is gorgeous as well. So if you're after a cruelty free nude lip option, I'd check out the Hourglass one. And then obviously I just thought I'd include my favourite bright red lipstick because I think no sort of basic makeup starter kit is complete without a nude lippy and a red. And my favourite one is a cruelty free option. It's the Stella Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Base. So this is the most beautiful red lip colour I've ever come across in my life. I love the formula of the liquid lipstick and the colour is just so nice and bold. It's that perfect kind of red where it's smack bang in the middle. It's like neutral. So it'll go with cool undertones and warm undertones and I just love it. So definitely one to check out for your kit. So that's it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Do leave me any comments below of any products that you think are essential for like a, you know, beginner makeup enthusiast getting into makeup and they have really pale skin. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. If you want some more viewing material on best products for pale skin, I'll link my playlist here, which has like 10 different videos on like my favorite products for pale skin. And you can also subscribe by clicking on my face. So I hope you guys have a wonderful few days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.